Hi friends, welcome to Engineering Clinic. So in this session we are going to see how to submit feedback files back to the students in Moodle. Suppose if, Moodle, if students submit an assignment, you are evaluating it. After evaluation, how will you share the files to the students? So individually we can share the files to the students. So for example, I go to this, go to my course and make turn editing on. in the assignment click the edit settings because we have to enable a feedback file settings so edit the settings after that there is a feedback types so expand that feedback types and there is an option called as feedback files so tick that option after tick that option just come back directly and just give save and return to course so once it is done the assignment is saved. So now go to view all submissions. In the view all submissions, you can see three options. Download all submissions, upload multiple feedback files in a zip and view gradebook. So these three options you will see. And select your group. In my case, my group is B1 slot. Then download all submissions. First you download all the submissions. Now it is being downloaded because all the submissions the student might have uploaded PDF file so the file size will be compressed and then uh, into a zip file and then the zip file will be downloaded so it might be taking a slightly some extra time yes so now it is downloaded so almost the size of the file is around 60 MB yes now the file is downloaded so just open this file so you can able to see there are so many folders so each folder corresponds to one particular student event so let's say one see the one one of the pdf file and go to the next file next folder so each folder corresponds to one student so in my session there are totally 61 students so all the 61 folders will be available here now we extract here so select in the top and then set go to the extract folder so you can extract and create a new folder and then extract it so it's always good to have a new folder before you extract it so once uh, we have created the new folder, just extract the complete folders into this file into this folder. Okay. Now the file is extracted. After that, close this window. Then open the folder where you extracted. Here there's a folder here. And these are the folders for each and every students. Now open this one of the folder open the file in uh, directly in the edge browser so you can open the edge browser so edge browser by default comes with windows 10 even if it is not there you can open it you can install it now in the edge browser there are some plugin called directly you can draw directly inside the browser so whatever be the file you can able to write it so and you can able to save the file as well so now you can see i have just written there block diagram is the student have not attached any block diagram it's needed so i can give the comments over there so I am just writing here this using the XP pen and after that you can save the file. So there is a right away there is an option to save it. So go to the corresponding folder and then save it. Okay, same you click the same name and then save it. So after saving it you can award the marks here itself directly so the students can able to see. So 6 out of 10 and it is done. So if you in case you want to check the coloring you can change the coloring. So if you want to correct everything in red color you can use red color for that yes you can use edge browser so the name of the browser is edge so using this browser you can easily evaluate any files not only pdf you can open any files and you can do using edge browser so this one advantages when you are correcting it so you need not bother about any external pdf editing tool directly you can use it now we can see when i open this file I could able to see that now let me tell you one more example let me do one more time so right click open with edge browser so once it is done it gets opened and then check so here i am using xp pen for writing it so i don't feel any uncomfortableness while writing this using this xp pen it's a tablet i'm just writing it 
directly using XP pen so without any as if I am writing on a pen and a paper I can be able to do that so it is very handy the edge browser is very handy if you do not have edge browser you can directly install it right away in Windows 10 just go and uh, search in uh, your browser called as uh, edge browser then automatically it will give a link you can download the software and then you can install it so this is very helpful for correcting it so not only for evaluate continuous evaluation you can able to do any descriptive question correction answer corrections using this piece of software so in case if you don't have a tablet you can directly uh, using your mouse also you can able to do all these things but mouse slightly it will be slightly uncomfortable but it's a good size that you can use a mouse also for doing this okay so now when you can have your signature also available there your signature also you can put there and then you just save this file so this for another example you just save this file so after i correct all the examples i just go to all the folder so there are two options here you can see here uh, it's been corrected so the corrected option is there Okay, now what I can do is I can just select all the files, select all the folders and then right click and add to archive. There is an option called as there are multiple options available. So I have given I have just selected option add to archive. So in that you just select it as zip file and you can give some name here. So let's say I am just giving it as Pradeep Kumar underscore CAC 3009. That is the name of the course code and click OK. Now once I select all these things, it takes some time to zip it or compress it and the compressed file will be in the same folder. Please see that Pradeep Kumar CAC 3009. Now see the property of the file, it is totally around 62 MB. Let us see whether the 62 MB work out or not in Moodle. I will come back to Moodle, there is an option called as upgrade multiple feedback files in a zip. Maybe I will just go back again. So go to your course, select the assignment, view all submissions, then up upload multiple feedback files in a zip, then select the file, choose file, choose, in the end go and select it, yes, open, now upload. So once you give the upload, it just try to upload, but after that it will give a warning saying that the maximum upload speed upload cannot be happening so the file you sell try to upload is too large for the server to process so only up to 40 MB it can process so what you can do is you can partly create zip file and we will create into two files so I will just delete this file after deleting it I just create from some of the folders yes so yeah actually the folders are renamed uh, the folders are arranged in uh, alphabetical order so up to a to k i just select it now select the name of the file as uh, csc 3009 underscore one so the first file click ok ok so now my first file is done so i will just created it now the property you can see there are just 22 mb file then go to model choose file choose and go to the last file yes open upload now it is uploaded now yes now import feedback files so once it is imported so totally there are 22 files are imported whether it will ask you to confirm once it is confirmed the corresponding students files are uploaded 22 is done then click continue then again go back to the folder the remaining files the remaining folders you make one more zip from M to V add to archive now in this time I will use it as CAC3009 underscore 2 so any file name you can give need not have a corresponding file name you can give any file name and click OK so once it is processed we will get one more file yes now again you go back it is around 40 MB so let me, let me try for this 40 MB whether it is taking or not again upload then choose a file choose and click csc3009 
అండర్ స్కోర్ టూ ఇట్స్ బీయింగ్ అప్లోడర్ దెన్ ఇంపోర్ట్ ఫీడ్బ్యాక్ ఫైల్స్ ఎస్ నౌ ఇట్ ఈస్ అప్లోడర్ ఫర్ రిమైనింగ్ సెట్ ఆఫ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఎస్ టోటలీ థర్టీ సెవెన్ థర్టీ సెవెన్ ప్లస్ ట్వంటీ టూ ఇట్స్ సమ్వర్ అరౌండ్ ఫిఫ్టీ నైన్ ఇట్స్ అప్లోడెడ్ ఓకే సో నౌ కెన్ సీ ద స్టూడెంట్స్ అసైన్మెంట్ సో దిస్ ఫస్ట్ ఫైల్ వాట్ ది హియర్ సబ్మిటెడ్ హి ఆర్ షీ హర్ సబ్మిటెడ్ ద లాస్ట్ ఫైల్ వాట్ దట్ ఈస్ ద ఫీడ్బ్యాక్ ఫైల్ దట్ వీ హ్యావ్ సబ్మిటెడ్ సో ఐ జస్ట్ ఓపెన్ ఇట్ నౌ సో యూ కెన్ సీ హియర్ దిస్ ద ఫైల్ సబ్మిటెడ్ బై ద స్టూడెంట్ యాజ్ అన్ అసైన్మెంట్ కాపీ అండ్ వీ క్లోజ్ ఇట్ అండ్ డౌన్లోడ్ దిస్ ఫైల్ సో దిస్ ఫైల్ దట్ వీ హ్యావ్ సబ్మిటెడ్ విత్ మార్క్స్ అండ్ విత్ కమెంట్స్ so this we have submitted to the student so likewise i'll show one more file this submitted by the student it's an empty file this we have submitted yes so you got 8 marks out of 10 so then you can create the marks so grading so we have already we have an option called as grading there is a text box so some people they may not see the text box using the quick, quick grading so i disable the quick grading by default quick grading disable so you will not get any text box there for uploading your marks now once you enable quick quick grading so you will get the link over there but i have given it as 100 marks so i need to input the value for 100 marks in case we want to change it to 10 marks you can change it to 10 so whichever way you like you can accordingly give the marks just now i just given 80 out of 100 and 70 out of 100 so in case if you don't want to make it 100 you want to make 10 marks because it is a 10 mark question so what you can do is you can go to the assignment and then change the marks but before you change the marks delete the marks so make it zero because once you awarded the marks you cannot change any settings so first let you change it to zero save changes go back to the assignment the edit settings go to the grading option yes the grade option so in that the maximum grade is 100 you change it to 10 after you change it change the value save changes so once you've done the save changes again you come back and give the corresponding marks so give the marks as 8 and then 7 so for example i'll just give only two marks maybe after that i will update all the 61 marks because i corrected the papers since i just given only two marks to just show you that after that after we done all the gradings the students can able to see the marks now there is an option called as grading sheet grades here you can see grades yeah here the left hand side click the grades so once you see the grades we can export the grade and as per our group so there is an option called as export so we can export it to multiple files uh, open documents plain text excel spreadsheet and xml files now select which are the uh, cat one marks you want those alone you can select it so in my case i select uh, the two of my test okay so it's quiz one for 20 marks and cat one description for 10 marks totally 30 marks now you can see plain text is there and excel spreadsheet so you just select excel spreadsheet and then again disable whatever you don't want or course total if you want you can have it okay and then you download so once it is downloaded just to open it open that file using excel sheet so once you open it enable editing you can see now the first name the student's name the surname will be the student register number the id number uh, campus department email and the marks you can see the marks also there so this is the first mark for 20 marks for the quiz out of 20 how much they scored the second thing the what we have supplied now the out of 10 marks so the last two two i just two marks eight and seven maybe i will just fill it up all the values later just for demonstration and to show you and the total is will be 20 plus 10 out of 30 the total is shown here okay so now just the total marks total cat one is out of 30 marks okay so that is what then this is for it to be corrected it to fill all the marks i 
I have just filled two marks here. Only for two students, I have marked the value seven and eight. So maybe after evaluation, everything will be marked, and this is the quiz. Quiz for twenty marks. So twenty plus ten will be totally thirty marks. So this thirty marks you can able to bulk upload in uh, any software that you have. So using surname, surname means the registration number. And the marks out of thirty, they can be directly uploaded to any other software. Like similar, like the software called as VTop, we can easily upload. So this way, you can easily do the processing very easily. So that's all for this video. You can easily do this process. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.